All right, guys, today we're in Miami. We're gonna be riding around looking for the least expensive lobster dish all the way up to the most expensive lobster dish we could find. Usually we're up in Maine actually catching the lobsters, uh, but we wanted to come down and see the other end of the industry, see some unique dishes, how it's presented in other places of the country. So I'm super excited. I'm a little bit scared of heights. I'm a little bit fish out of the water here. I'm usually on the water, not in places like this. I have never been on a Skyrise hotel in my life. Let's go check it out. All right, we're at the first location. We're here for the cheapest lobster we could find in Miami, and that's a lobster taco. We're gonna go in, check it out. You ever heard of a lobster taco before? No, I haven't. Sounds like we're gonna try one now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop number one is the Lobster Shack. Downtown Miami, we got a lobster taco. Never heard of a lobster taco, have you? Nope. We're gonna give it a try, here we go. Try it. That's flavorful. It's actually very, very good. You gotta try that. I'm not, that's delicious. It's very good. The lobster is kinda like, you can't taste the lobster a lot, but you can, it like adds to it. It's very, of course that's a taco. That's what you would expect with a taco. It's a mixture of a bunch of different flavors, but it's really good, it's delicious. Yeah, I never really thought about a lobster taco, but. It's really good. The combination, definitely would eat it again. So this is our first stop of many. Before the day's over, we're gonna work our way up to the most expensive lobster dish we can find in Miami. <laughs> You're probably not supposed to eat it in one bite, but we gotta go to the next one. Spot number two, it's quite hectic in here. We're gonna run in. We're not actually gonna get a lobster roll. This is Mason's famous lobster roll. But we're gonna get grilled cheese and mac and cheese. Right, we gotta find a nice quiet place with a good view. So we told Dad we were going peacock bass fishing all day. Dad, when's the last time you were in a Ferris wheel? That's a little bit comfortable. Probably 50 years ago. <laughs> Scared of heights, yet he flies plane. This is a little out of character for my dad. He spends his life <laughs> pretty much just lobster fishing, right? Lobster fishing and fishing. I belong on the water. So, here we are at the top of the Ferris wheel. We got a grilled cheese. We're going to try it out. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, we stopped. Lobster grilled cheese. Looks pretty good. All right, it does look pretty good. Here we go, spot number two. They stopped us right in the tunnel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little scared. Oof. That's different. I'm not sure a lobster belongs to some grilled cheese. I'm just used to my grilled cheese being grilled cheese. So I'm trying to figure out the concept of lobster being in it. It's just like drinking Sprite expecting water. It's good if you're really hungry. How do you watch it? I'm dog will eat that. <laughs> I have to be man. No, no you don't. Is that a dog will eat it? I'm glad I don't have to lie. All right, so in spot number two, we also got mac and cheese. And I'm a big mac and cheese fan. I love mac and cheese, but I've never had it with lobster in it. This is breaded lobster. It's got an interesting smell. My nose doesn't work very good, but it can smell this. Mine does. My nose is working good. It's got a very strong smell. Wow. Thank you for riding. That lobster no good. <laughs> I wouldn't try that. Oh yeah. That, that one's worse than that. Try it. I love mac and cheese and I love lobster, so let's see what we get there. Yeah. Alright, okay. Spot 
number two complete, we're gonna ride a few more circles on the Ferris wheel and we're headed for spot number three. All right, so we made it to spot number three. This is Luke's Lobster, a classic back home, established in Portland, Maine. Uh, this is kind of a classic, what we're used to seeing. So kind of know what to expect with this one, but still curious to try a new location so far from home. Let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, that's me. You're the one on the Lobster Roll commercial, man. I'm um, in the YouTube thing. I watch yeah, your videos. Nice. You're the one to tell them and say, hey, here's the one bait for this one. Right. And you put it in there. Yeah. Dude, I knew who you were right away. Great. That's why I knew to get better at what I wanted to do to yeah. learn from you. Thank you. Hey, that's nice. awesome. Ooh, man, nice. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's funny. I'm very good with names and visual. I never get wrong with guest names. Yep. I knew you were right away. Yeah, right, right. Hey, so, Jacob K. Yeah, you got it. Help. All right. <laughs> All right. We just got the lobster roll. This is a classic lobster roll, just like it would be served up home. Full. Smells good. Looks good. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Very good, knocked it out of the park. That's a very good lobster roll. So the lobster meat is actually cold, and the hot dog roll is warm, so it gives you a mixture of both. Very good flavor, butter, seasoning. Perfect lobster roll. It actually tastes just like the lobster at home, which surprises me to come all the way down here and find lobster that tastes, I mean, indistinguishable from lobster at home. It was very good. You, would, you wouldn't you would know you were in Miami. I think I'll stick with this over the grilled cheese. Whoa. I think they're doing a great job of representing what Maine lobster should be. We do. Excellent. That's what it's all about right there. That's a good lobster. They set a pretty high bar, to be honest. We got a few more places to go after this. I think this one's gonna be hard to top. You're not gonna wanna miss the last one. All right, so far so good. We're at spot number four, Red Lobster. Obviously all of you know of Red Lobster. I've never actually eaten here. After this, we're actually going to Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. Uh, and then, last but not least, the grand finale is gonna blow your mind. All right, we're gonna get uh, the Lobster Lovers Duo. Okay. So this is actually my first time eating at Red Lobster. We've ordered a Maine Lobster Tail and a Spiny Florida Lobster Tail to compare them. While we were down here, we actually did some lobster fishing, which was pretty cool. That was the primary reason of the trip. We got to try some fresh out of the ocean. So it's gonna be fun to not only get our take on a Maine Lobster down here, but also a Florida one. All right, here we go. We got a Maine Lobster, Florida Spiny Lobster. They actually look really good. Never seen one presented this way. Feels a little dry, but we'll see. I don't think it's, maybe it's not steamed, I don't know. It's good, it's different than I'm used to. I, I can see where people would love it. I'm just used to a certain texture when I eat them, because that's all I've ever eaten my whole life. The flavor's good, texture's different than I'm used to. So this is the main lobster. Let's compare it with the spiny lobster. Similar texture. No, Maine lobster is a lot better than the spiny lobster. Not even close. I should have eaten the spiny lobster first. That's, nah, I'm good on that one. <laughs> All right, next stop, Hell's Kitchen. All right, we've been traveling all over Miami all day trying lobster dishes served in different ways uh, and we finally made it to the world famous Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen and we're gonna go in and see how he prepares lobster here. And we still have one last stop after this that will blow your mind.
Like that. Yeah. Like, we're mildly That's what everybody there's says. Like, there's a certain gratification when you see like the lobster being free. Or right. Free right. Who, who knows how long they that out? Yeah. It was nice to meet you. All right. So we're now sat down. We just ordered lobster risotto. I'm super excited. And honestly, I'm a big fan of Gordon Ramsay. So it's an honor to be here in Hell's Kitchen and see how they prepare lobster here. All right, so the lobster risotto has arrived. And to be honest, I didn't even know what lobster risotto was, uh, but it sounded good and it looks even better. It looks delicious. Uh, I'm excited to dig into it and try it out. It looks right up my alley. I'm a big pasta eater. You donut. That is some good lobster. That is really good. That's, you guys don't need to try this. Very good, knocked it out of the park. I've never had lobster like that. Pretty classic in the way that I eat lobster. So it's been super fun to come look around Miami and try it in different ways. This is a very unique dish for me and I love everything about it. I'm gonna try a piece without the pasta. The lobster's great too. Fresh, good texture, good flavor. Very good. Tastes like it's from home. All right, so Gordon in Hell's Kitchen exceeded all expectations on the lobster. Absolutely phenomenal. I am full, but not too full because now we're heading to the most extravagant, expensive main lobster dish of the night and I'm a bit nervous about it. Check it out. They told us our clothes weren't good before, so we had to, oh, here we go, this stuff. That's a cool lobster. Behold, the most extravagant lobster dish we could find in Miami. Not only a lobster dish, but it's also got king crab claws, oysters, prongs, a bunch of stuff. It's absolutely incredible looking. But the most important part of this dish is the three pound steamed lobster. It looks awesome. I'm super excited to try it. Let's dig in. All right, so I have never actually seen a main lobster prepared this way. It's cut in half. I suppose it is fancy presentation. It looks cool. We got a tail. We got some butter. I like that. Feel right at home. Let's see what it tastes like. This guy's probably gonna laugh at how I go about extracting the meat, but ooh, it feels nice. They nailed it. It's perfect. It tastes like home. It does. That try it. You wouldn't know you weren't in Maine right now. I didn't come from Miami. It is really, it is really good lobster. It's as good as. I think that was right on my boat. Yep. It's got to be very fresh. It really does. It, that, that lobster hasn't been out of the water very long. It's delicious. So you would expect with such a long travel all the way to Miami that it wouldn't be as fresh, but I can tell by the taste of it that it is. This is a very fresh lobster, it's delicious. Let's check out something else while we got it. This is a funny looking lobster claw. Good. The Florida stone crab's better though. Yeah, it's good. It's really good, but the Florida stone crab had more flavor. That's really good. <laughs> but I do, yeah, I agree with you. I think the stone crab had more flavor. Dipping in butter would definitely help it out. It's really good crab. I think the lobster's better. The lobster's better than the crab. I'm not lying. I'm not just saying that. It's, it's nothing wrong with it. It's good. Some people would probably prefer this. 
I actually prefer the lobster. Alright, so the main lobster has exceeded expectations, especially for all the way down here in Miami, but we got a bunch of other stuff. We're gonna dig in, we're gonna enjoy some of this food. So after we're done, I'll give my final thoughts and final review of all of the places we stopped at today, including this one. Uh, but we got a lot of food here, we're gonna dig in, and I'm gonna get this camera out of my face because I feel a little uncomfortable. Jeremy's holding a lamp in the middle of this restaurant, and everybody's looking at us, and I'm extremely uncomfortable. So we're gonna eat, we'll see you in a minute. What a day. We've been all over Miami the entire day riding around sampling different dishes of lobster, trying different things. It was pretty awesome, really. It was a good experience. I'm pretty lobstered out. I don't think I'll be eating lobster again for a little bit. But it was really cool to see all the different ways it's prepared and try some unique things. I'm pretty boring at lobster eating because we're a little bit set in our ways of how we eat it at home. So it was really cool. The fish tacos is where we started and they were actually one of my favorites of this entire day. Um, Granted, it was the most simple, and it was the very first one, but it was, honestly, that was delicious. And then the, the Ferris wheel, yeah, that one was, if you're really hungry. And then on to Luke's, Luke's was fantastic. That was, a cla I mean, that was classic. Just like if we were at home, that's how I would expect it to be. And it's pretty impressive that we were in Miami and we got that kind of dish this far from Maine. Dad agreed as well, said the lobster was Delicious, just like lobster that he had right at home, um, and he's been eating lobster at home for his whole life. Red lobster was pretty much what I expected it to be. I wasn't a big fan of the spiny lobster, but the main lobster, it was okay. It was, it was not the best lobster I've ever eaten, but it was not the worst either. And obviously Hell's Kitchen was an amazing experience. Um, they didn't have a full lobster course meal there. We just got the appetizer, and it, it, it blew my mind. It was fantastic. Uh, I can only imagine what Gordon could do with a full lobster meal. I'm a huge fan of Gordon, would love to cook with a lobster with him one day. And for the elephant in the room, Claw Miami, that was the most mind-blowing restaurant I've ever been in. Probably the fanciest restaurant I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, the service was fantastic and the food was fantastic. Obviously our platter came with a bunch of seafood. We were primarily there for the lobster, which was presented in a way that I've never seen a lobster presented, so that was really cool. And it was a fantastic lobster. It was fresh, tasted great. Um, everything on the platter really was awesome. So overall, if you're looking for something classic, obviously, go hit Luke's. That's gonna be your classic, consistent, guaranteed. If you, if you know Maine Lobster and you love Maine Lobster, that's where you wanna go. If you're looking for something unique, uh, I'd recommend that taco, actually. That was great. The Lobster Shack. And then again, the Claw. If you're looking for something crazy, head to the Claw. Uh, but it's been a long day of riding around and eating lobster all day long. I'm beat. We still got one more day in Miami. I'm going to go get some rest so I can actually function tomorrow. We locked ourselves out of the car. Night was going good. Too good, evidently. 